So Brie, tell me what's so special about Captain Marvel? Hmm, well, what I think is special about her is that she was a badass and a kind of human superhero before she became an actual superhero. It's not her powers that kind of make her what she is. She was it before, and then the powers kind of just like exaggerated all that was already there. And I think that that's a really wonderful thing to depict as this like female character, that she made it herself. It's not just about something that was given to her. I was at the panel yesterday, and you said that Captain Marvel has changed you. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, it's kind of a natural thing that happens, because when I'm making a movie, I'm basically playing somebody else for more hours in the day than I'm myself so <laughs> you start to kind of take on the characteristics and because most of the work I've done previously is like dramatic work usually those are things that I'm like when the movie's done I'm like I'm gonna let that go but getting to play a character like Carol who's unapologetic about her strength and has a real ownership of herself and I felt like that was like a costume I got to try on for a couple of months and by the time the movie was over I was like I'm gonna keep that Those are qualities that I really like. Not everybody around likes it, but it doesn't matter. That sense of ownership is important. Prove you're not a scroll. That's a photon blast. And? A scroll cannot do that. I'm just supposed to take your word for that. So becoming part of the MCU is a big responsibility. Uh, you have to deal with fan expectations and the world expectation as well. How do you wrap that around your head? I just don't. <laughs> you just try to keep it normal and keep your expectations real. It's like, you know, the Comic-Con thing was super cool and like surreal and crazy. And then I put some flats on and went to Batman Alley and like had a, had some snacks and like saw some, <laughs> saw some music. And I was like, oh, everything's a distant memory already. Yeah. What does it mean to be a superhero? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not sure. I'm still figuring that one out. You know, I'm still pretty new to all of this. This is like the beginning of this of this journey. For me, I'm more interested in the female representation yeah. in in getting the opportunity on an international scale to, to talk about what it means to be a woman and to be part of that conversation. To not just be the solo voice, but yeah. to be part of many voices talking about it. And speaking of that, you are one of the most outspoken voices in the Me Too movement, and it's amazing to have ourselves represented everywhere. So do you believe Captain Marvel also has power as a symbol of women's empowerment, especially today in the world? I hope so. I mean, that's my intent. She certainly empowered me. Mm -hmm. I felt empowered from reading the comics. She's really the, the force that got me to start training and learning martial arts. And I feel totally changed by the experience of playing her and getting that time with her. So I hope that that extends outward, but I don't know. Okay, thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thanks.